Hello, Young Scholars. My name is Miss Kay, and I attended Erickson Elementary School, and I also attended Perry Elementary School, and I graduated from Ypsilanti High School, and I attended Washtenaw Community College in 2014, and I graduated with an associate's degree in 2017. I am currently attending Washtenaw Community College again, and I will soon, probably in about a year and a half, transfer to Eastern Michigan University to complete my bachelor's degree. I work as a paraeducator at Erickson. I know I keep saying that school a lot. Um, and I love working with young scholars because they are brilliant. They're amazing um, future leaders. And I also have a Queens Club where I um, get an opportunity to work with young ladies um, pretty regularly and we do a lot of things. We learn how to cook. We're learning how to um, understand money a little better, learning how to dance and um, learning table etiquette. And we're learning a whole lot of things which are very important um, to help us as we grow. And one of the things that are, is very, very, very important to me is reading. I believe readers are leaders. The more you read, the more you know, the more doors that you can go through and the further you can go in life. So today, I would like to read a story for you. It is called, It Takes a Village. Have you ever heard that? It's an African proverb and um, this book is going to show us the importance of having a very close-knit family and community. We all need each other. We all need each other. So this book was written by Jane Cowan Fletcher. So it says, Jimmy feels very grown up today. She will take care of her little brother, cacao at the market while mama sells mangoes. I love mangoes. I will watch you, Yumi tells cacao proudly, all by myself. But mama and the villagers just smile because they know better. Oh, how wonderful Yumi feels as she leads cacao through the marketplace, but the moment she turns her back to buy some peanuts, what do you think happens? Cacao wanders off through the maze of stalls, Yimmy searches, but Cacao is nowhere to be found. So this story is based on the African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child and will reveal to readers the power of a close-knit community. Okay. The sun was just beginning to climb into the sky, which means it's very early. But the villagers had been up for hours. It was market day. Yimmy, Mama said, you must take care of your little brother today while we're at the market. I will be too busy selling our mangoes. Come, Kaku, Yimmy said, I will watch you today all by myself. All by yourself, Mama asked and smiled at what Yimmy said. Mama knew better. Mama picked up their mangoes. Yimmy picked up cacao. She felt very grown up as she walked out of the family compound beside Mama. She was all ready to be a responsible big sister. They joined the stream of people walking into the village. People came from all around to sell their goods and buy whatever they needed. Market day was also a time for visiting. The greeting started the moment they stepped on the paths into town. Hello, how are you? How is your family? You see all that activity going on down there? What do you think that's like? Have you ever been to a festival where there's a lot of vendors or maybe a pop-up where there's a lot of vendors and people stopping and saying hi? It's kind of sort of like a market day. 
Yimmy, help mama set out their mangoes. <laughs> One of the other fruit vendors said, Yimmy is a big girl now. She is a lot of help to you. Yes, said mama. She is going to watch cacao for me today, all by herself. All by myself, Yimmy added. All by yourself? Yay, gay. The women marveled. They smiled and nodded, but they knew better too. When the mangoes were all in neat piles, Yimmy asked if she and Cacao could take a look around the market. Mama said, yes, but don't be gone too long. And off they went. She is ready, ready. Yimmy had not walked very far when Cacao became restless. He must be hungry, she said. She sat him down for just one minute so she could buy some peanuts. And Cacao wandered off. Cho! Yimmy cried when she turned around and discovered Cacao was gone. She put the peanuts in her pocket and she hurried off to find him. Oh, I'm sure she is so scared and nervous. What kind of thoughts do you think are going through her head right now? What her mom would say if she loses her brother, if her brother is safe, will she get him back? Why did I stop and take my eye off him? Just so many thoughts going through her head. Where could he have gone, she said. As Jimmy searched for him, she began to worry. Cacao must be hungry. But he was not. Cacao must be thirsty, but he was not. Cacao must be frightened, but he was not. Cacao must be tired, but he was not. Finally, after searching for him everywhere, Yimmy stopped and cried aloud, Cacao must be lost. But he was not. Just across the path from where Yimmy stood, Cacao was waking up. Is this your Cacao? The mat vendor asked. Yes, exclaimed Yimmy as she scooped up her brother. Do you think she's feeling a little bit more relieved now? I'm sure she was so scared, because I'm sure she loves her little brother, right? Thank you so much for taking care of him, Yimmy said to the mat vendor. Oh, he chuckled. I was not the only one. He pointed to where Cacao had come from. Yimmy thanked him again and headed off in that direction. She said, thank you again, and again, and again, and again. Mm -hmm. 
we've been gone a long time, Cacao, Yemi said. Mama must be worried. But she was not. Mama knew better. As my mama told me and her mama told her, I will tell you. You weren't, to, you weren't alone today, Yemi. We don't raise our children by ourselves. It takes a village to raise a child. The market. Africa has its share of supermarkets and shopping centers, but in rural villages in Benin and many other African countries, the traditional open air market is the only market that serves the community. As it has for hundreds of years, the villagers are the buyers and sellers. Market days occur on a regular schedule the year round. The produce and other food staples available staples available vary according to growing season and region. The market is also the source for fabric, clothes, cooking utensils, farm tools, fishing equipment, livestock, handcrafted items like baskets and pottery, as well as such imported items as canned milk, canned fish, batteries, lanterns, soaps, plastic dishes, enamel pots, pens, and school notebooks. It's an open air shopping mall where you'd likely to find just about anything. Market day is also a social occasion with food vendors selling hot meals, snacks, beverages. It's an opportunity to visit with relatives and friends. All of the items depicted in this book, such as the pottery, fabrics, baskets, decorated calabashes, and so on, though not representative of a specific region, are typically found in markets throughout Benin. It takes a village to raise a child. And that is the end of this book. I found this in the library. So that is a really great place to go and just see what kind of books you might like to read on your own. And you know what? You can get a library card for free. You can get it for free. So if you can't get one at your school, ask your parents to take you to the local library. And then just sit. They have some amazing books. And they have all kind of different things that they have there. So until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.